Hello, today I would like to show you something interesting. Some time ago I made a video on a blade antenna that came from China. In general, China stuff that are related to the antenna are really bad. I, I, I have a problem to buy a Chinese antenna that is better than a stock Motorola and that's because making a good antenna is a very hard process because you have to be a very precise of the all length and if you make something bad then you are mistuned it so this is just not a, as simple as it looks like and Chinese do not have a luck in that area but this one, I'm going to tell you that I found something, finally, that is uh, really good. And this is this fancy looking antenna. It was sold as a tactical antenna with this gooseneck. This looks for me very much as an antenna that was used on the uh, on the tactical radios, manpack radios that was meant to be talk with the aircraft. So you do not use the horizontal position, but you flex this and give a different polarization just to get the aircraft. But of course, that one is made for the UHF and uh, VHF amateur radio band. I mean, I was looking to get a UHF version and some sellers were was telling that this is a dual band antenna. Other sellers ask a question, do you want to have a UHF or VHF? So I go with the seller who was asking that question and I ordered the UHF version. So the first and the most important question, does it perform better than the stock Motorola or even a quarter wavelength? And the answer is no. The answer is no, but I'm still going uh, recommend you to purchase that antenna because it can do something really amazing. In general, when you've got your radio in your hand and you're transmitting, then purchasing this antenna, I don't think that's going to help you. A little bit, it's working a little bit better, but I have feeling that this only because you are much, much far away. And maybe that part is acting also as a counterpoise. So this is why it might be slightly better on receive, but it has something really, really important. But uh, if you've got this radio on your, in your hand, then everything is perfect. But as soon as you put this radio into pouch and mount on your tactical vest close to your body, then the bad things are starting to happen because your body is made, of course, in the large amount of water and the radio waves water that doesn't mix, just like the like a metal and most of the energy is going to be going into your person. Also, that's going to be affecting the SWR. So we are blocking the RF energy. You are affecting the SWR, the radiating pattern of this antenna. And what, how this going to be looks like? I know exactly because I was a lot in that time. So I can hear a dispatch, but when I press the PDT on my mic, 
I was unable to go back. They were unable to hear me and that was meant that was because this uh, dot, tiny amount of power if you compare to the to the dispatch, is going to be cut in half or maybe much more when you are touching this antenna to your body. And this is when this antenna comes into play and completely change the game because if you've got this on your tactical vest you can break it like this and move away from your body and from my observation is that I can without any problem make a callback when I switch to the stock antenna I was unable so this is why I would going to say that this is a very good antenna and it make a, a real significant improvement because just a simple physics if you bend it like that you are not affecting the SWR by your body. Let's take a look at the connector because surprisingly it also perfectly fit the Motorola and this is not something that comes easily. I've got lots of antennas from China that doesn't fit Motorola, but that one fit perfect and that part is made of metal. That flexible is also made of metal. And if you notice that perfectly go around that stud, and give you a very good connection and make it really nice and safely secure and I try a lot of Chinese antennas and sometimes I've got a problem it doesn't fit into this plastic things but here it's got perfect then only downside that I see is that this is not not stiff enough and if you like running or walking on a difficult terrain it has tendency to just go straight i i have no idea why but as you can see if i if i bend it and if i shake it it go into a this straight position so i would make it a little bit stiff but still, anyway, if you've got this install inside your pouch and you are need to make a call, you just bend it. And the question is, of course, you are changing the polarization. And this is a very good question if you, if you ask this yourself, that, hey, you are not transmitting like you should inside a city when you've got uh, your signal bouncing from the buildings. From my observation, that's not the problem. Of course, if you would be in one top of a hill and the other person, then the when you've got a direct line of sight, the signal is going straight, then yes, of course, you should keep the same polarization. But as I told you, from my first-hand experience inside the city, that is not a problem I often here better in going sometimes like this like that and I can hear the other part and transmit better so I would not to be uh, really considered this as uh, something bad that you you change the change the polarization so let's just quickly connect this to the antenna on the laser I need a I need a plug to that me find a good one. Okay, that one seems fine. And of course take this measurement with a grain of salt. This is not a professional equipment, it's just a 
quick look and remember that I order a UHF version. One day I will need to buy a SMA key that have a good tension, but that's not for... I think I miss... Do I connect it because... Let's go. No, that mic looks good. I'm going to go from 400 megahertz because that was okay. We are 400 megahertz. Let's go to the 450. And as you can see, it's nicely tuned. Let me go to near the amateur. And as you can see, the 430 megahertz have a very nice resonant. So let's see where is the resonant going. I would say that the SWR of 2 will be the highest possible. So around 422 megahertz and then we are going to be too high and let's see 440 is a, a top limit if you be counting below of SWR of 2 yeah, and then we are going to some kind of crazy crazy values so as you can see, 430, very nicely tuned. And this is a very nice antenna that I can, I can recommend you. Looking nice and help you with the transmission if you've got radio on your body. So thank you very much for watching. See you next time and bye bye.